Welcome traders to another tick mill trading update with me, Patrick Munley. Want to take a look at the headline US indices as we head into a new trading week. We've got uh, some event risk on, uh, on deck this week. We have the uh, CPI inflation data out tomorrow in the US, and we also have the contract rollover and options expiration on Friday. So uh, for the purposes of this analysis, I'm using the front month contract, which is now quoting the June price uh, for the E-mini S&P 500. I'll be using the same front month contract for the NASDAQ and, uh, and the Dow Jones analysis. So starting with the E-mini S&P 500 on the uh, four hour time frame here, what I'm watching for is a move that tests into the one, uh, 5158 to 5145 area. Watch this area carefully. I think we could see uh, some initial buying here or certainly some uh, initial short covering. And I'm looking then for a pullback into this 52.18 to 52.28 area. That's, uh, that's actually the bull bear zone that I'm using for this, uh, this trading week ahead. I'm looking for any pullbacks into that area to then find another leg of supply to take us down for a look at the trend channel support in and around the 5120, 5130 area. And ideally like to see that coming up into uh, the middle of the week, watch for bullish reversal patterns there, and to engage on the long side, looking for a move through price cycle highs at the 5250s, on to test into monthly and weekly projected range resistance just above the 5300 area. Now, if we don't find support and we break through the 5120s, uh, we will look for a test of 5100, and then we'd be looking for pullbacks into the uh, 5160s to act as resistance for another leg to the downside, which I think could then see us testing into weekly projected range support down to the 5050 and 5063 area. Remember that was key support on uh, on this move to the upside. So that would be the downside objective. If we don't find uh, if we don't find support at the equality objective and the ascending trend channel support, and certainly if we fail to hold on to 5050s, then we'll be thinking about monthly projected range support and the uh, trend line here down for another look at the 5000 level. But for now, looking for a corrective move to uh, to buy for another leg to the upside. Moving to the uh, Nasdaq. <coughs> In a similar scenario here, I'm looking for a move in to test the 18,000 level again. That's going to be the uh, bull bear zone. Watching for buyers there to emerge now. There is the potential that we get that three wave corrective move play out in a similar scenario uh, to the S&P 500. If so, we'll be looking for an extension down into monthly projected range support in this key support at 17,830s. And again, similar scenario, watching for bullish reversal patterns there to engage on the long side looking for a move up to uh, retest price cycle highs, 18,690, and then to weekly projected range resistance, 18,860s. Uh, note that we still have the quality objective on the weekly timeframe open at 19,712 as the principal upside objective uh, for this move. Moving to the Dow Jones. <clears throat> The Dow, as referenced in uh, in last week's analysis, has tested into the 39,400 and we are finding some supply. That's the equality objective on the weekly time frame. So I want to be careful with the Dow here, uh, watching for a move back to test into the uh, weekly bull bear zone here. I'm going to be using the 38,930, 38,870 area. See if we can get uh, some demand into the market there, then we'd be looking for a move up into test into 39,600 monthly projected range resistance, just about there, 39,700, and the weekly projected range resistance, 39,800. Now, if we don't find um, support at the, uh, the bull bear zone, what I'd actually be anticipating is that we roll over, test into the uh, trend line for the year here, 
uh, from the January lows. And then we'll be looking for that bull bear zone to act as resistance for another leg to the downside to test into monthly projected range support and the value area low here for the four hour profile, which would see us down into 38,100 before seeing if we can mount another attack then to the upside. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, manage your risk. Until next time, thanks very much.